morning everyone. So today's video blog is going to be a little bit of a reflective piece. So basically we've been selling recoil knee pads now for just over a year. So we started selling in June 2016. So as that first year has now came to an end, the last couple of weeks basically I have been doing a bit, little bit of reflecting and thinking about what I've learned in the past year, what we've done well, what we've we not done so well, what we're we going to take from it, how we're we going to tackle the next year ahead. But while I was doing that, I was kind of starting to think to myself, well, do you know what, we've actually done quite a lot of crazy stuff over the last year and last year has been pretty challenging and maybe not many people know much about the kind of backgrounds of what's been going on over the last year of getting this business set up. So today's video blog is um, going to focus on one of the suggestions that one of my interns that was working with me actually had and that was um, why don't we just load up some cars build with knee pads, drive around different builders, merchants here in Glasgow, go in and basically show them the product, get their feedback and see if any of them would like to take it on a trial. And at the time, it was something that we were all a bit kind of like, can we do that? Like, can we just walk into a builder's merchant with our product and show it to them and ask them if they would like to stock it? Like, is that not a bit out there? Um, but we did it anyway. And we learned a phenomenal lot from it and it really helped like raise our brand awareness and raise people's kind of interest in the product and we got some really good feedback as well and it really did help like structure where we went with the rest of the year. So let me just take a step back. So basically how did this come about? Well, started selling the product in June 2016. June and July were really good months, basically because everyone that knew me, that knew about the product, was buying it. So I was thinking this sales and marketing stuff is pretty like okay. Like, yeah, this is all right. But then reality kicked in in August and we thought, right, we really need to kind of expand the net further and raise awareness of this product and get more people aware of it. And we're thinking, right, how can we do that? And I had two very good friends join me to help me out with the business. So up until probably August 2016, it was purely just me and the business on my own. And through all the R&D phase, it was just me on my own. Uh, and then in the initial couple of like months of selling, again, it was just me on my own. But in August 2016, two very good friends, Paul, who you already know of, and Susie also came to join just to give me a bit of a hand and help me out. And this was actually Susie's suggestion. So Susie, while we were brainstorming, how can we raise awareness of the product and really get like people aware of the brand, suggested, why don't we just load up the cars, drive around the merchants and just go in. So Susie, full credit to you for this idea because it really boosted our confidence and it was a cracking idea. Um, so we were all, as I said, a bit apprehensive about doing it, but we thought, you know what, let's just do it. And we did. And it really, really helped us with just putting ourselves out there and just putting the product in the public eye. Um, it was a terrifying thing to do, uh, but we just learned so much from it ourselves. So this video blog is basically focused around those journeys uh, in those days that we had, so our sales days. So we've got some video clips which are we're actually taking back in September 2016, but we never actually did anything with them back then. We just kind of took them and never really did anything. So I put them together into a video blog for you just to give you an insight into what some of the kind of stuff that we did right back at the start when we were just trying to raise brand awareness. So I hope you enjoy. It was a really good fun experience and uh, it was a little bit out there, but as a startup, sometimes you just got to get out there and do stuff like that. So I hope you enjoy this. Talking at a camera. <laughs> just. So, how are you feeling, Paul? Feeling a bit nervous, but excited. excited so we have decided to load up a couple of cars today and drive around a couple of different builders merchants around Glasgow and show them the products <laughs> and see what they're thinking. So this is our first stop. So we came to That's Hillington. Big bank, bro. So let's see how it goes. Uh, so we're just prepping for our first uh, Friday sales day. Con and I are on the team today. We've got stock in the back. Vicky's out front. They're going in another car. Um, and a bit of competition. So we're hoping to sell the most. It's all about the positivity we're going to win today. Let's do this.
Apprentice. Second shop they went into, and me and Susie have only went and sold them all. <laughs> Buzzing. Nice one.